Welcome once again to Dallas, Texas, where we're going to do another walk around of uh, one of our coolest 2008 Hummer H2s. Uh, this one is a custom build with a uh, the Kevlar liner paint job that was just completed in a beautiful brown, uh, which is a really uh, rare color that you just don't see on the Hummers very often because the, they were never made in this color. Um, but this one was uh, was painted in the Kevlar liner with the uh, the fender flares and of course our our uh, our black ops package that uh, that takes off all the chrome and replaces it with black. So we'll do a quick little walk around here first, and then we'll do a um, a little bit more detailed walk around. So this one is a luxury package and adventure package h2 which means it's got every option that you could have received from the factory so that includes the navigation the rear dvd the rear camera uh, the heated seats the sunroof all that and then it also has with the adventure package that has the rear air suspension that has the uh, the nice application for towing and ride leveling. So as you can tell from the initial walk around, that the you know the color takes on a different life with uh, with the sun shining on it, as opposed to uh, in the shade. That's also true with these two here. We've got one lifted and one not lifted, uh, but these are in a, in a black Kevlar liner paint job. Same, same type of paint job with that textured. Um, so if you go to a black one, you can see on this side, it looks like it's kind of matte black because the light's not shining on it. But over here, you can see a lot more of kind of a glisten uh, because of the light reflecting off of the texture. Same thing goes with the brown. So if I get close up, just to give you an idea of the, of the texture of the paint, you can see that texture. You can see kind of the glisten that comes off. Let's get real close in here. So I'm at the grill. If I get real close, you can see that texture. So it reflects light very differently than a normal paint job. And, uh, and again, I'll compare these two over here. Both of these are done in black. So this one is the textured, of course. And this one is in factory gloss black. Uh, and you can see how they reflect light differently. I don't have another gloss brown to compare this one to. But um, anyway, so let's, uh, let's do a little slower walk around this time and we're gonna start with the front. So we like to have contrast uh, on these so we don't paint every piece of trim. So in this case, we left the, the center hood vent in black with the black handles instead of chrome handles. Um, the middle section of the front nose was that we left that in black plastic. We did paint the grill uh, in the brown Kevlar liner and the bumper down here are, is all painted in the brown. And then the skid plate, the, the entire skid plate is painted in the Kevlar liner. We did black for the H2 emblem and the rest is in the brown to match. So it's got a nice look. Now, if you'd like for whoever, whoever purchases this vehicle, you can put a, a black brush guard right in front here to, to cover the grill with just the, 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 the a grill guard or brush guard. Um, that would be similar to 
to like this one right here. You could put this kind of a brush guard on it. Um, that would look really, really good. But we, again, that's, that's a personal taste. We don't put those on every vehicle, but we do have them available if you'd want. And that would be a nice touch if you, if you wanted a little something extra on the front. But otherwise, it, the way it is, it's a nice clean look. Um, all right, so we're gonna go, we're gonna go around the other direction with the light behind us. All right, so wheels and tires. So these wheels are the Fuel Blitz wheels. These are 22 inch by 12 with a negative 44 offset. The tires, Nitto Ridge Grapplers, 35 inch. Uh, so the, the tires are the same height as the factory tires they're obviously a lot more they're a lot wider um so that they fit the uh, the wider wheel now the negative 44 offset what does that do let me let me give you a, a side angle here so this one obviously has the wider bolt-on fender flares so the normal fender flares would be about you know an inch right here and then these this is about double the width of the normal fender flares but you can see that the tires just barely stick out. So this negative 44 offset, it takes the, the, the wheels and tires that would normally be right here and it moves them out uh, to give it a wider stance, a, a more muscular stance, uh, and a little more aggressive stance. And it's, it's a nice look. And that's what we do for most of ours. Um, so if you'll see without the fender flares, what happens, you see on this one here, that's this one is the normal fender flares, which is about an inch. And you can see how much they stick out uh, with the negative 44 offset. But it's a great look. So this wheel by Fuel, the Blitz, is gloss black, um, completely gloss black. The only thing that's not black is the emblem uh, there in the middle of the center cap. So the bolts and the rivets and all that stuff, uh, they're all gloss black, so it's a really nice look and it's a real nice contrast with this paint job we hand select these wheels and tires for the vehicle and we think through the whole thing um, obviously some of the other black components on the side that were replaced instead of chrome uh, were the uh, the side hood latches the back of the mirror the uh, door handles the nerf bar running boards and the uh, the the uh, crossbars on the roof racks so those were all replaced with black instead of chrome this one also has some nice led side marker lights which is a nice look so you don't have the uh the orange and red marker lights on the side i'm just going to give you some close-up looks down the side and everything just to kind of give you an idea of what it looks obviously <laughs> since this is a a custom paint job that was just done you know there's no door dings there's no scrapes there's no scratches or scuffs or anything like that I mean it's uh, this is this is impossible really to scratch uh, I mean you can take a key and I think next time I, I think I'll grab a key to, to show you that you can, you can try to key it and it won't key that's the whole idea behind the Kevlar fibers infused in this material that is painted with to make it five times stronger than your typical rhino liner or line x all right so there's a little view down the side um of course the the uh the fender flares were all painted in that material the rocker molding and even the rocker bar was painted in that material. You can see the uh, the ride leveling sensor component there that comes on the adventure package. You see everything's nice and clean, frame rails. Now, in the back, once we lose the light, 
behind us, then you, you know, you can tell it becomes more of a matte look because there's no light to, to reflect on this texture. But we did paint the, uh, the bumper here uh, in the uh, brown Kevlar liner as well. The bumper was left black uh, as well as the spare tire carrier. Another possible add for some people, you might want to put a matching wheel and tire uh, back here for the spare, which is which can be done, and you, we would just take that off. Uh, some people like a nice clean look back here, so we just put the nice cover uh, on the factory spare. Over here, obviously, we've uh, we've replaced the fuel filler door with a black. Uh, fuel filler door instead of chrome. I'll give you a look down in in there. Really nice and clean. Okay, so that's kind of the outside, the exterior walk around. Let's go, let's pop open the hood. And then we'll look inside because we do have a surprise for you on the interior. Now, you can see everything here is black. So everything was painted a satin black here in the engine compartment, the back of the hood. So it's a good, nice, clean look. It's not like it's I don't even remember what the original color was, to be honest. Uh, but uh, you don't see blue or orange or, <laughs> or anything like that. Okay, let's close the hood and then I will show you the, uh, the interior. Okay, so we're gonna walk around to the other side to, to start um, on the interior. So this is the, uh, the little treat that I, that I was gonna show you. So we've got a, a custom brown, uh, it's called espresso interior on this. So this came with, with black interior and we decided that uh, We've been wanting to uh, showcase some of the leather that we can, the custom leather we can add. And so we decided uh, this one could use a nice brown because brown was not an option. Now there was, Sedona was an option, which was kind of an orangey brown. And I can show you the difference on one, but you can see, I just want to kind of give you a view. Um, from there. Let me show you what uh, what the Sedona brown looks like. Or it's a little orangier. So that's that's the Sedona. So it's a little more like a almost like a like a basketball color, uh, brownish orange is what I call it, but. Um, this is a true, a true brown. <clears throat> nice and rich look. And this is brand new custom leather that was just installed. So nice and fresh. Uh, even did the, the third row seats. You'll see some rippling and things like this. Um, that, you know, that, that just needs time to 
and you know someone to sit in it a little bit and and uh because it's just brand new leather just just installed even did the, the center console as well so that's a nice a really really nice ad uh for this we'll go to the other side and hop in but i wanted you to see it with some some sunshine on it by the way so let me show you one other thing it's easier to show over here so i've shown this on some other videos but it's important it's a detail uh, but i, I want to make sure you understand so um Maybe it'd be better to show in the, in the light on the other side. Let me do that. Okay. So, if you'll notice, so the the you know the threshold uh, and and the, and the door thresholds were all done as well, all painted as well. But this is a less texture than the paint of the of the vehicle. Okay. See that versus that so it's smoother and it's not as rough the reason why we do that is that so and we do it over here on the inside of the door too so here's here's the outside there's the inside so we do that here too so that these these rubber seals will seal up with the less texture. If it was like this, it wouldn't seal and it would leave gaps and you'd have uh, wind noise and, and leaking and things like that. So so that's all, all done in every door. Uh, that's just the way we do it. And, it's, uh, and it works really, really well. All right, okay. I just wanted to cover that. Okay, let's hop in, get a look at the interior. Um, the interior is obviously with the, the leather, the brake being brand new. Um, turn down the AC. Uh, makes it really, really fresh. But the rest of it, you know, the dash and the buttons and the controls and everything is outstanding as well. So you can see that there's no wear on the buttons. You see that a lot on these controls here. Sometimes on these buttons as well. So it's got the navigation and, uh, from the factory. We can replace this unit if you want. Um, you know, it is a, you know, it's a 12 year old head unit. So we can replace it with a nice Pioneer unit with navigation. We can add Apple CarPlay. Um, we can do all kinds of stuff with that. So um, this button uh, is only available on the adventure package that has the air suspension for the rear. You can raise and lower. Um, so this one has 49,000 miles, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Dash is in great shape, no cracks. Nothing like that. Uh, as I mentioned, it does have the uh, rear DVD in the ceiling. Uh, it does have, if I put it in reverse, you'll see behind us the rear camera and all that. So, I think that's about it. Um, if there's uh, any questions, of course, don't hesitate to get in contact with us. So how do you do that? So we do have a website. Uh, you'll see that right on our building there. A and L imports.com all spelled out. Um, so you can access us there. You can send me an email at cooper at a and L imports.com. You can call our main number, which is 817-421-3700. You can uh, go to the website and send us a message. You can send me a direct email. Um, 
I generally don't give out my cell phone on the internet, so I can give that to you if you contact me. And we, we can also, for our international customers, we can uh, communicate through WhatsApp. And uh, so that's about it. Uh, if you have any other questions about any of our other Hummers, and we've got, as you know, quite a few. I'll do a little quick walk down this row. Most of these are 08s and 09s with under 50,000 miles. So we'll be doing some more videos to kind of give you an idea of what, what we do, how we do it, kind of the inner workings and, and that kind of stuff. So well, that's it from Dallas, Texas. I appreciate you joining me. I'll be posting some more videos uh, real soon. Have a great day.